YouTube. How y'all doing? I am back with another video. It is Wednesday and my work week has been a beast. So I didn't even get to vlog Monday and Tuesday. It came on my heart and my mind, but I slept in until so it was almost time for me to go to work. I just came back from getting a massage and it was awesome. I needed it. I wanted to relax. Now I am at just parked and got to Olive Garden. Gonna treat myself to a lunch today. Um, Y'all like my dress? I got it from Shein. It looks really cute. I ain't really had time to do much to my hair, so I just kinda threw it in ponytail and braided it, and I was sleep. I fell asleep on the table. Y'all forgive me, so I got sleep lines in my face. But anyway, let's go have us some lunch and listen to a book. I have really gotten into Audible because I listen to books on my way to work or while I'm doing my paperwork at work or in bed when I'm trying to fall asleep. So Audible just kind of works out for me. I'm not holding a book or whatever. Um, so right now I'm listening to Wrath by Victoria Christopher Lawson or Roby. I'm not sure what her last name is. Anyway, she has the Seven Deadly Sins series. And if you watch Lifetime, Lifetime just um, put out the Seven Deadly Sins book one, which is Lust, which I have not um, listened to or read. But this Saturday, Envy comes out and I have listened to that on Audible. So I'm excited about that. I recorded Lust too, but my like I said, my work week has been a beast for the past few days and like i have a meeting tomorrow and then i have to go to work so um today i'm also i will probably catch up on some of my tv shows and stuff while I'll clean up and stuff around the house but i'm not sure but anyway let's go have some lunch okay so i've made it to the table let me take this mask off so you guys can hear me i ordered some peach raspberry tea that's my favorite um, I was thinking about getting some wine, but I got a couple more errands to do. And then I got some spinach dip. So I don't know if I'm gonna get the super salad that I originally came here for, or the lunch favorite eggplant parmesan. I'm undecided, so I didn't let her take my order. salad. I got some spinach dip, but it is quite salty. So I'm going to send that back. Hey guys, how y'all doing? I still have on my dress, but I put on my robe because it's kind of chilly in here. My husband has the air up. So I'm working on the schedules for my team members at work, and my husband is in there on the Xbox singing away. I don't know if y'all heard that when I hear the playback, I will see, but oh my god. <laughs> it's hilarious, but he be really into his music. But yeah, I am working on my schedules and I'm catching up on This Is Us. I did not realize I am three episodes behind. Do you guys watch This Is Us? I really like it. It pulls on the heartstrings, just like Grey's Anatomy. I am a Grey's Anatomy fanatic. Also, I love Grey's. It pulls on my heartstrings. I have to coach myself not to cry every week. I mean, every week. But uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, I did a little grocery shopping. I went and got the twins. Uh, well, Jaden. I already had Jada stuff because hers came from Shein with this dress. I keep telling you about this dress, huh? <laughs> um, stuff for their birthday because today is their birthday. They turn 15. So wish them a happy birthday. That's been my Wednesday. That's been my off day. Let me get back into these schedules so I can be done with it. Hey guys, how y'all doing? It is Thursday and I did something to my face. What you think? It's basically probably like the same look that I had last time because I feel like uh, that was the palette that was closest to me and I was like, uh, and I didn't want orange to match my shirt. So I'm a little pinkish. Um, I just have on some lip gloss and it's in here somewhere. I got it from one of my FC bags. I need to find it. I really like it. It's uh, this. I'm on my way to a meeting, which is like almost 50 miles away from my house because I work on the other, I work 20 miles away from my house. 
So I'm in a whole nother district. So that training center is the closest to that restaurant. So with me staying on this side of town, it's a long drive, but it's okay. It's only once a quarter, so um, it's a, I'm able to do it. But um, let me go right in here and get my earrings and hit the road so I don't be late. So this is north side traffic, guys. North side traffic. It is 1.03 in the afternoon, and the traffic is moving, but it's really, really congested. On my side of town at 1 something, we moving, we moving, we moving beyond the speed limit. <laughs> right now I'm traveling like 45 miles per hour on a 60 mile per hour freeway in the fast lane this is north side traffic actually the this is the 45 freeway um, if you're in Texas you know um, but I work off of 59 so 59 is not as bad as 45 but 45 is the worst um, my husband was like, oh, maybe we can move to the north side. I don't really want to move to the north side. And the reason being is the traffic for one. And two, I've been on the south side my whole life. I'm a south side girl. And I will never, if we do move, 45 is not it. I cannot, I'm not a traffic person. I'm calm, cool, and collective until I get traffic and I have some big kind of road rage. So no, but anyway, let's get, Let's keep riding. It is Friday and in my store, Friday. Well, it's a gloomy Friday, so I don't even know how gloomy the uh, Friday is going to be. Anyway, somebody's calling me. Hold on. Yeah, it's not the best, but it's what I do to make my hair look decent enough to under a hat at work. Um... Today, I'm not gonna really do a lot of makeup. I'm just gonna throw on some lashes and some powder, more than likely. Put a little concealer in my eyes. This is something I like in this. Anyway, so what did I do last night? Once I got home, I caught up on Unexpected. I'm addicted to TLC. So I have a few shows that I like to watch on there. Um, unexpected, I just decided to go ahead and record because most of them I don't care if I record them or not because I, they run them so many times you can catch up on them. But unexpected, I just kind of into the kids' stories and how they're going to deal with motherhood and how their parents and their boyfriends and the relationships that they have going on. It's kind of got vetted into it so i went ahead and recorded that um Grey's anatomy came on last night i didn't watch that um yet because i gotta be i like to be comfortable and not about to fall asleep or whatever and then i started a new book on audible it's called sunshine and rain um i did go ahead and down the victoria Christopher Murray, I said Lawson, Robbie, all kinds of stuff in the last time I was trying to tell you. Um, Lust, because I still have yet to watch the movie that I recorded, but I think I'm going to go ahead and listen to the book once I finish this one, and then I'm going to watch the movie. Like I said, Envy, I've already uh, done the book, so when it comes on Saturday, of course, I'll be at work, but I record it, and I work overnight Sunday, so I'll probably watch it Sunday while I'm awake before I go on my nap before I go to work. I gotta take one of Wakanda's uh, rubber bands. But for until then, until I get over there to get one, I'm gonna put this little scrunchie on this braid. And it is 309, so I gotta put a move on it. Cause I have to try to be on the road by 3.30. Oh, I really gotta put a move on it, y'all. So I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get in the car cause I gotta stop and get a shirt cause I don't have one. All right, hold on, I'll talk to you. This is how my glam is for work today. Like I said, just lashes and powder. I put on a mask anyway. Um, plus I had to go get my clothes, which are behind me right there. I didn't even put my shirt on yet, so I'll put that on when I get to work. So I'm on my way to work, and this is what I'm going through. Do y'all see that traffic? And it's a little uh, drizzly, so excuse the windshield wipers. But see this traffic. You know, this is every 
Friday, which I showed you guys first, this traffic. This traffic is ridiculous today. And it's drizzly, drizzly. Anyway, so, um, what else can I talk to you guys about? Mm. Here at first sight for this week, which like I have told you guys, this season is a joke for lack of better words. It is a joke. I mean, there is no way these people should have been matched. Uh, only saving grace and hope in this season is Vincent and Brianna, and they still have a few issues. Um, I used to review Married at First Sight back in the day when it first, first came out. I did the first season. I think the first and the second season, I think my life got busy and I wasn't able to do it. Um, I said I was going to pick it back up this season and I'm so happy that I did because y'all, y'all all I would do was, would be ranting and raving about what in the world were these people thinking when they cast these people? What in the world? I mean, come on. And then you trust in somebody to make a life decision for you and y'all put somebody together like Chris and Paige. Come on now. And Chris. Since I'm reviewing, kind of, sort of, vlogging in traffic, Chris, boo. I don't know how attractive you think you are, and to some girls, money makes you attractive, but not to me. You're not that attractive to be a jerk that you've been about Paige. Now, granted, I don't think she's that attractive either, but you signed up for a show like this. So how can you be so judgmental? And how can you treat somebody like that? That is horrible, deplorable on your part. And you claim to be a man of God? And you claim to have faith? Sir, I think you need to reiterate that. And I think you need to drop down on your knees and you need to pray for forgiveness for the way that you treated that girl. And I think that you need to... May not have to be on camera, may not have to be for us, but your butt needs to apologize to that girl for how you treated her for taking her through these things because that is crazy so i'm gonna leave that alone for chris now Paige, girl i am number one ride or die i have stayed in some relationships that i should have left a long time ago i understand where you coming from but you don't let anybody treat you like that nobody I don't know how your brother, sister, mother let you let you let somebody treat you like that, but you don't let anybody treat you like that. But yes, I did. Yes, I do know how you do it because you probably did not tell them the full details. You told them with rose-colored glasses. But when they see this show, they gonna have some words for you, girl. They gonna have some words for you. Who else can I talk about real quick? Ryan, you a jerk. You a jerk just like Chris, but on a milder scale. A milder scale. Perfectionist, religion. Do you so doggone self-centered? You can't see the forest for the trees. And then you have your wife, because I can't think of her name right now. And she just wants it to be perfect that she's denying herself and i'm gonna tell you homegirl like i told Paige, don't let nobody treat you like that don't let anybody treat you like that anyway those are two couples i just really had to, to really say something on like i said vincent and brianna i'm home i'm holding on that they'll get it through because they have normal problems of normal people um you know that got married really quickly and or got in a relationship really quickly and don't really know each other i think they can work it out if they're willing to do the work but 
the rest of them couples, mm -mm. but them two couples I just had to talk about, they needed that talk. They needed that talk. This truck just jumping in front of me. Anyway. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go because this has been six minute rant on Married at First Sight. But I'm going to try to edit it down for y'all. If I didn't, oh well, I'm so sorry. But I had to say it. Hey guys, it's a bad angle, but I got we got the sunroof open. And I'm sitting here waiting on the husband to put gas in the car. We just came from eating. Um, I wanted some crawfish. He does not eat crawfish. So um, it was his twin's birthday on the 14th. So we came to drop off their presents. But Jada was at her friend's house. So we took Jaden with us. So me and Jaden ate crawfish. The husband ate fish and shrimp. And now we're getting ready to head home because they live all the way on the other side of town. Y'all see him? He got on his podcast shirt. I put a picture of that in here. And I'll talk to you guys in a minute.